The following introduces a selection of nitrogen fixing plants suitable for dry temperate climates as growing at Block Hill in 2019. From biomass production, habitat and forage to shelter, firewood, colour and edge, these plants play an important role in supporting the development of our forest garden. Black locust or Robinia pseudoacacia is a deciduous thorny tree that produces quality timber at a moderate rate, growing into a canopy tree of around 25 metres, suitable for planting in close proximity to walnuts. Alders come in several flavours, most being deciduous. They grow best in moist locations, but we have red and Italian alders growing well in our dry site. A member of the acacia family, the Tasmanian blackwood produces quality timber, if managed correctly, and decent firewood. Despite preferring moist sites, they will also grow in dry, ultimately reaching 20 metres, suckers profusely from damaged roots. Tagasasti are one of my favourites, as they are quick and easy to grow and provide so many benefits. A real pioneer plant, these fast growing small trees are evergreen, highly drought tolerant and produce masses of blossoms that are enjoyed by bees and kiriru. Senna is a frost tender small tree that grows very fast, producing thick foliage for chop and drop, bright yellow flowers and copious seeds. I use it as a fast growing protection for citrus. Californian mountain mahogany, slow growing, dry tolerant, evergreen shrubby tree. Siberian pea shrub is a small deciduous tree with yellow flowers. While the young seed pods are supposedly edible, I have not been impressed with their palatability. I prefer to have the seed available for the chickens. Easy to propagate from cuttings, which is handy. Archaea amorensis, Chinese yellow wood, deciduous, growing to 6 metres, a nice looking tree but hasn't performed particularly well at our site, growth being slow, poor competitor in grass and susceptible to some kind of wood borer. Coral vine or hardened bergia is evergreen with deep purple or pink and white flowers. Loved by bees, this climber tolerates the dry but not freezing and quickly reaches 3 or 4 metres without being too aggressive. Wisteria is another climber. It loses its leaves in winter but is an aggressive vine, racing up into tall trees and pushing under roofs. Short-lived sweet broom is a small shrub I use for quick shelter around young fruit trees. Seeds profusely but not as invasive or woody as scotch broom. An annual rather than a perennial but one which we use a lot because of the fantastic yield in a short time frame. Broad beans are easy to grow having such large powerful seeds. Crimson clover is a stunning ground cover that adds striking colour. Seed needs to be sown for decent coverage.
Cofi are one of the few native nitrogen fixing plants and grow well, if slowly, in our area. There are several forms reaching different sizes. They handle the dry and have sparse leaves casting little shade. The bright yellow flowers are much loved by bellbirds and tui. Another native is the kakabeek, a short-lived evergreen shrubby plant handling dry but disliking cold. Stunning flowers can be propagated by seed or cutting. Laburnum, or golden chain, is a small deciduous tree. Slower growing on dry sites, all parts of this plant, particularly the seeds, are poisonous. Wild pea grows on roadsides. Albizia there are a few varieties of this tree, some more decorative and others more weedy. Tolerates dry sites. Blue lupin are an annual that produce a lot of large seeds making them easy to scatter plant. Lots of biomass and bees love the blue. The Aliognus group has a number of members known by various names. A nice palette of plants, some are deciduous while others retain their leaves. Some have moderate thorns and some such as gumi or silverberry produce edible fruits. Russian olive is one of the thornier ones. Unrelated to regular laburnum, the evergreen laburnum or Piptanthus napolensis is a small evergreen shrub for mild sheltered sites. an ornamental red broom for colour. Seaberry or sea buckthorn is a small tree with thorns famous for its nutrient rich orange berries. Grows well in poor soils in a sunny location. Wattles or acacia come in many shapes and sizes. All evergreen, they make great firewood and generally fast growing even on poor sites. <laughs> 